Hello, I'm Jessica Manuel. I'm doing an assignment uh, on women, women's theology as a corrective to African American theology. Wow. I'm going to start out with a question. The question is whether women should preach, evangelize, or pastor. Is it a passy or an old come by events? The fact is, women are preaching, they're evangelizing, they're pastoring, they're teaching. So this paper reflected on substantial influence and impact that the women preachers, particularly the black preachers, are having an, on their community and indeed in the world. Women are predominantly placed within the theological, theological schools, churches, and, and organizations within the religious world. They are doing a yeoman job despite the objections of uh, doctors and personalities ridicule, stumbling blocks in their way. Womanist theology seeks to disrupt the status quo of Eurocentric interpretation of scripture and help us find meaning in the stories of our mothers and grandmothers who gave birth and real children to love their God and their family, love their family and their God. As we proceed, we see how women began to awaken to their destiny. Awaken to their destiny as women of God in the field of religion dominated by men. I did a little background on, from O'Neill and Murphy and the report that gender and age has two dominant factors of change regarding a person in a seminary. In 1970, it begins with, with say, it was a taller wave of women presenting themselves ordination and seminary education. Most of these women at the time of this report was over 30 years of age. But my point is women are here to stay. Women have taken this rightful or non rifle place in the world of the seminarian and the pulpit to include academic halls of theological education. But this is largely due to the part that the fact that women in seminary has outperformed their male counterparts. We can conclude that objection to womanist theology or women in the ministry does not steam from women's ability, inability to master the diverse body of material, including theological education. It can only be objected to a traditional tradition and henceforth there is a need for liberation theology. As I began to analyze this uh, subject, I used my, my graph in back Blackwell and they informed me that liberation theology is used to talk about a community of theologies birthed from among the socially and political marginalized community, therefore providing a foundation for religious and social empowerment. Where well, James Cone being a permanent figure among these original scholars, womanist theology is a child of liberation theology and more specifically black theology. These various readings concern themselves with social and political plight of these considered the oppressed by government and religious institution. But according to Jacqueline Grant, as collective critique, liberation theology raised serious questions about normative use of scriptures, tradition, experience in Christian theology. Grant also says that an issue is raised concerning woman's theology, which gives expression of valid validation to African-American women involved in ministry. Both Black and womanist theology covered within a debate and discussion of Black liberation theology. It focuses on ensuring that women, Black women, are liberated from oppression by their Black male counterparts, as well as those from majority, majority society. The Black women seek to interpret the scripture through the lens with highlight and reveal how Black women has been the victim of injustice, inequality, marginalization by its own, own Black men, while at the same time struggling to set the black community free. But at, at the same time, they stand side by side uh, with the biblical women narratives that point to patriotism and male chauvinism. It's a sort of second citizenship you would, that can be maintained in the black community quest for freedom. For example, Alice Walker, uh, she has a series of essays, but the one I like is this, and, and she uh, this, this place about a young woman struggling is a racist white culture and patriarchal black culture give rise 
rise to such scholars as Dolores Williams and Jacqueline Grant. But these two women scholars who do not see uh, white feminist theologians capable of addressing the unique concern of black women largely because the perspective of the eugenic and fail to address the concern of women from other ethnic groups because they are the European uh, background. But several black women the theologians are making pathway for other women of color to explore and enrich the discussion of women's theology in marriage and contribution to the black community and indeed the theological community at large. They each teach, they each preach and study the various aspects of the debate concerning the black women liberation within the black country church and academic community. Reverend Charmaine Webster, a black woman pastor from North Carolina, as she highlights the struggle of black women pastors in her article that says undoubtedly unsupported black clergymen and the black and the Baptist church. But she writes in this article, she said the black church must let go of the fear that it's an increase in black women's leadership which lead to demise and erasure of black men's leadership in the church. God's church needs all the spirit-filled leaders that is, can get to work to fulfill a purpose that God has called them to do. Holding black, black, black women from fulfilling their God-given purpose is an act of faithlessness and denial of God's power. Because God has called us men and women alike to serve there is more than enough serving to do. But yet the divide, the division is over ordaining and installing women as pastors has changed slower than you can imagine. As I read in the Pew Research Center, I read the paper from there. And while many major religious denominations in the United States now allow women to pastor churches and synagogues, only 11% of America's congregation were led by women in 2012. According to the press report of the upcoming National Congregation Study Survey. But that figure hasn't changed since 1998. But many of the nation's largest denominations, you know them, uh, do not ordain women and allow them to lead congregations. Of uh, the prominent womanist theologies, theologians who have studied, learned from both Dr. J just Dr. Judith Grant Dr. DeLois Williams, Yolanda Pierce, Dr. Carrie Day, just to name a few of them. Hallelujah. And as I summarize this report, found a wonderful prolific women scholars of our era, Dr. Teresa L. Fry Brown, professor of preaching, child at Calvin School of Theology, has written to full professor, has risen to full professor the first of any woman's theologies, theologian to do so. She has contributed much to the dialogue of women's theology with notable her signal, her signal work that I like is weary thoughts, thoughts, weary thoughts and new songs on preaching. Uh, this book examines the rich heritage of African-American women who have proclaimed and still proclaiming God's word. Against all odds, African-American women have passionately proclaimed the goodness of God and lift up God's name despite barriers of race, class, denomination, education, and gender. In conclusion, the issue of woman's theology should be studied to ensure the gender of liberation theology is canonized and chronicled for generations to come. The complete spiritual, physical, and economic liberation of women of this period can gain much headway as the voices of the marginalized are heard. Black women have much to contribute by way of both the biblical story and story of oppression of black women and family. I have many stories to tell. Students need to engage this topic as to de de deconstruct feminist interpretation of scripture that reflect only the excerpt uh, eugenic perspective. Students will develop a clear understanding of woman's theology and be encouraged to include these authors and others in their original study concerning the gospel of Jesus Christ. 
And lastly, my last thought is, Jesus spent much of his time liberating women and theologians today should do not less. Thank you.